I'm a Namaste Guys, Kristen Long, Life Enhancement Consultant, giving you a big and beautiful shout out on this Saturday morning here in Denver, Colorado. It is 8 o'clock a.m. Mountain Time. We're jumping on for our daily dose of growth. Challenge is designed to grow your soul and help you become a better person. I'm a Namaste, Adriana. I'm a Namaste, Tina. You got the teeny tiny high five. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's quiet today. A nice gentle breeze is coming in. It's a little cool. It's supposed to get to like 90 degrees today in Denver. Monty's on top of the couch cleaning herself. She just finished eating a date. She loves dates. I think she might have an addiction. Um, so we're jumping on for our 40th challenge, everyone. Our 40th challenge, which uh, it's pretty amazing that we've actually gone through 40 challenges and uh, as a side note for those of you who do 30 consecutive challenges meaning one challenge after another you do all of them in a row it qualifies you for a free energy healing and energy coaching session with me which is a 225 dollars value which can be life and soul transformative some pot thought my namaste oh yeah i like dates who doesn't like dates people that are allergic to dates joanna i'm a namaste so <clears throat> Make sure that we have another uh, 20 challenges. So we're gonna do about 60 challenges. So we're at challenge number 40, so you still have time. If you've done 10 consecutive challenges so far, you can just do another 20 consecutive challenges and that qualifies you for the session. So I was thinking about this one and it was weird because I was like, all right, we're gonna have something really like not cool or unique per se for the 40th challenge, but I thought, oh, okay, um, you know, let's have it be zany or weird or something like that, right? But I always am listening for guidance. I'm always listening for what people need in order to move their lives forward because these challenges are designed to grow you, right? And Rob and Namaste, they're designed to make you a better person, right? Mentally, emotionally, financially, physically. Um, and so, Sometimes zany is good, sometimes um, more mundane is better, right? Because we tend to overcomplicate things and we actually miss the lesson. So this one's, an, this one's a, one that came to me right before I got into the shower and I was like, huh, that actually, it's a good one. It's a simple one. It's a profound one. You can go very, very deep with it. Have you noticed the challenges each and every one of them, we can go very, very deep with these challenges, okay? So this challenge, you ready? So get out your challenge journal. You should be filling it up every single day if you're doing the challenges daily or when you're doing the challenges. Okay, challenge number 20, 25, 30, 38, 52. These are the challenges. Sarah, I'm a namaste. Um, so you wanna keep a challenge journal that you write in as you get the challenge, and then in the challenge review tonight at six o'clock p.m. of this is my awareness, this is my understanding, this is how I can move my life forward. Rosalind, I'm a namaste. So you ready? There's so much, and we'll talk about the higher teachings on this connected to, to this challenge tonight at 6 p.m. But I want you to write out, you can set your timer on your phone for 15 minutes. This shouldn't take you a lot, it can take you a lot, of time, but it shouldn't take you a lot of time, is I want you to write out, Suresh, Abba Namaste, I want you to write out three, you ready? Three, oh, Rosalind, you changed your profile picture, I like it. Three lies you are telling yourself. Three lies you are telling yourself. Then, from that lie, why are you telling yourself that lie? What is the actual truth? And then finally, number four, what action step are you going to take towards the truth? Three lies you're telling yourself, why you're telling yourself those lies, what is the truth and then one action step you're going to take to move you in the direction of the truth. And we lie to ourselves in many, many, many ways. 
We lie to ourselves in relationships. This is the right partner, and we don't want to admit that to ourselves. This is the wrong partner. We don't want to admit that to ourselves. We lie about family planning. I want to have children, but I tell people I don't want to have children. I don't want to have children, but I tell people I want to have children. We do it in our education and career. I want to be a doctor, but I tell everyone um, I want to be a lawyer instead. I don't want to be a lawyer. I, I want to be a, uh, I want to be whatever. I want to be a stay-at-home mom. I want, uh, but I'm going to be. I'm going to show up as a career woman. I want to be a career woman, but I'm going to uh, show up as a stay-at-home mom. Right? Um, we lie about our physical health. <laughs> Tina says, "Oh boy, good one." We lie about our physical health. Right? We're like, uh, I'm I'm healthy enough. I'm this enough. When we're lying to ourselves, we're distorting reality. We're distorting reality. We're using the tools of rationalization and justification to keep ourselves stuck. So Adrian says, how do we identify the lies if we believe them? Exactly. That's why it requires a little digging in your consciousness, practicing awareness. One of the virtues we practice in pranic healing or hatha yoga is accurate perception, correct expression, and a sub-virtue to that is called honesty and non-lying to oneself and to others. It is more important to be honest to ourselves than to others because if we know what honesty is to ourselves, we can be honest to others. If we distort our own perception, we distort the perception of other people and if we do, and we'll continue to distort their perception which continues to distort our perception. So it always goes back to the self. Honesty and not lying to oneself. Honesty and not lying to oneself. Honesty and not lying to oneself. That's the virtue that we're working on in today's challenge. A good girl. So ask yourself the question. So the interesting thing is in the stillness and in the awareness in our relationships, in our health, in our finances, in our career path, in our spiritual growth and development, in the stillness and in the awareness, the truth is obvious. Karen, I'm a namaste. The truth is obvious. Grandmaster Cho Kok Sui says, um, enlightenment is, is uh, enlightenment is observe, it says observing or noticing. Enlightenment is knowing what is obvious. Enlightenment is knowing what is obvious. So an enlightened person can clearly see what the rest of the world cannot clearly see for themselves and for others. Okay? You good girl. So I want you to ask yourself again. This is our challenge, challenge number 40 for today. Three lies that you're telling yourself. Why are you telling yourself those lies? What's the truth instead of? And then one action step towards the truth. People can live their entire lives. Lori Atman, namaste. They can live their entire lives in a lie. So this is our opportunity today to experiment and to validate how important it is to tell the truth and how do we tell the truth to ourselves. One thing I, I've, I've learned from many mentors in my life over the years is when a word is given, forgiveness, gratitude, lie, deceit, delusion, whenever a word is given to me, I always look it up and I look at the different meanings, I look at the entomology or the origin of the word to understand and go, huh, so that's what a lie is. And then as I break down what a lie is, I can look at my life and go, where am I practicing that very thing, right? Then what would be the opposite of the lie? Truth. So then I would look up truth. What's the definition of truth, right? I'm giving you guys some help in the homework or the challenge for today. And then looking up truth and going, okay, that's what this means. Got it. So where am I doing this lying thing in, this, in these three parts of my life, and then what's the truth instead of those lies? Okay, and then one action step moving in the direction of truth. We're not asking for the world, we're asking for you to gain awareness. Jessica, I'm a namaste. 
Joanna says, I'm having issues with the stream again, so I'll do my best to do the challenge all as I have all others. That a girl, because Joanne is all about making it happen. Um, this is a big, big challenge because it can go very, very broad and can go very, very deep, even with three lies that you're telling yourself. It's pretty amazing. Okay? So look at the funny thing about lies is that it's so obvious, but we miss it because we have spent years deluding ourselves. Um, what would be an example? Okay, so one would be the example of, uh, for my own life, is I don't need, um, I don't need the affections of another person, right? That's one of the lies, right? I don't need the affections of the of the other person. On the highest level of truth, I am one with God, one with all, right? So I'm also one with all the energies of love, of sweetness, of inspiration, of of devotion, of intimacy, right? On the highest level. But on my current level of understanding, right? On my current level of understanding, it causes suffering to, to believe that lie. That I don't need love, I don't need, a, I don't need um, affection. It causes suffering. But if I go from lying to myself about needing affection and love, and I go over here and say, I, I thoroughly enjoy love and affection. See, my energy is getting softer and brighter. That's the truth for me at my level of understanding, right? So I'm becoming in alignment with that truth. And the truth so shall set you free. And the truth isn't about being aggressive. Do you see how, I don't know if you could see it energetically, but I went from here to here and my energy softened and my energy expanded. So that's how you know you're in alignment with truth. But if you go from a lie and then you seek the truth and you actually become more angry and bitter and confused, you're not in alignment with truth, right? The truth shall set you free. So now that I have that recognition, I can take necessary steps of moving me in the direction of love and, love and affection owning that, appreciating that, celebrating that, being grateful for that, right? Do you get the difference? So lies imprison you. Lies shrink your energy. Lies um, distort reality versus truth. So that is your challenge for today. If you choose to accept it, it's not an easy challenge. It might seem like an easy challenge on the surface, just find out three things you're lying to yourself about. Why are you lying to yourself about them? What is the truth instead of the lie? And then what are you going to do one action step moving closer towards truth? Sounds easy, but it's actually extremely difficult. And we'll talk more about the higher truths and teachings connected to this challenge tonight at 6 o'clock p.m. Mountain Time. So Jessica says, so I'll be sitting out the meditation because there's no way my head would survive the exercises. I don't need added more congestion. This too shall pass. Yeah, we have to do some healing on Jessica. Adriana says, not an easy challenge. It's not. It's a great challenge. The more, as I'm talking more and more to you guys, more things are coming to me. And I'm like, this is a really, really good challenge. So that being said, join us for our Twin Hearts meditation if you're not going to work today. Uh, in the next 15 minutes, we're going to be doing the Twin Hearts Meditation over on Zoom. Not here on Facebook Live, but over on Zoom. And it's um, a beautiful meditation. Within a short period of time, less than 45 minutes, you'll be physically empowered, emotionally calm, mentally sharp, and spiritually fed. And it's going to be an amazing time. So I'll have the link above this video as soon as I sign off. And I look forward to seeing you over there. For those of you who need healing, reach out to me directly on my website, ChristianRLong.com, and I look forward to connecting with you there. This is Christian Long, Life Enhancement Consultant, wishing you a beautiful day, a beautiful weekend, and a beautiful life. Atma, namaste. Bye-bye.
Defeating up, and I must say, I haven't seen you on in a long time. 